Hey everybody, it's Sleeve in South Jersey. I'm in Stratford, New Jersey. And for the second weekend in a row. Okay, I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but yeah. We're near a hospital, actually. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, second week in a row. I said last week that I'm not going to shoot any more footage. I got tons of footage I got to edit. And uh, I end up doing the uh, Old Country Buffet. So this week, again, I said I'm not going to shoot any footage. I got to edit. Got to edit, edit, edit. <laughs> and now I find a spot on my way to work that's um, abandoned. They put up a fence around Just a temporary fence. Not the kind where they actually dig into the ground and cement the poles in. It's just a temporary fence. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be tearing it down soon. So I want to get a look before the wrecking ball comes. And it was at Exxon Station for most of its life. Um, towards the end of its uh, existence, it was a no-name brand gas station. And uh, for the past couple of years or so, it's been a spot where cops just park in the early mornings just to watch us uh, commuters commute. And also, what's interesting is what's next door to this. Um, if you know the gas station I'm talking about here in Stratford, you might know of the Quaker store. And there's an interesting story uh, about that place as well. So we're going to take a look and see what we can see. <laughs> yep. They changed the uh, colors and everything, but yeah, it is a uh, Exxon station. And you see the... Uh, The inside of the building here looks very much like an Exxon would. Ooh. And then when it was uh, last. At one time, this was even a Subway restaurant, even a pizza place uh, in here. And we're on candid camera. Um, towards the end of its uh, usefulness. Oh, yeah, don't solicit here. Towards the end of its usefulness, the uh, gas station attendants would sit here and just watch everybody. And it looks like they got some metal plates here. I don't know what they're going to be for, but probably for something here. I don't know what for yet. But here's the pumps, and you see where the Exxon sign would have been. And of course, uh, you see a little bit of uh, blue paint coming off. It uh, used to be red there, you know, how Exxon stations usually are. And I'm trying to get an idea. Let's see. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to get on the other side here. Get a better idea what the prices were. Well, regular was uh, 227 Could have been that long ago, maybe a year or so ago. Ooh. Some idiot tried to break the windows again. Vandalism is stupid. And you see, he's definitely where the Exxon pumps that they've uh, since, you know, covered over. And again, temporary fence. You see over there, it's uh, falling over a bit. I'm guessing because they have those like tubes and whatnot, they're gonna dig up the pump of the, uh, the tank. Now this is a very interesting spot right here. Apparently, this road over here was widened because this used to be at one time, as you can see here, used to be cars on both sides of uh, the island here.
but apparently when they widen the street would it be too uh, narrow for here so what they did was they just blocked off uh, this area here put a curb here and uh, ran the pumps useless on this side kind of interesting so I, but you can tell at one time tell at one time yeah thank you for sharing your music jerk but uh, we all have different opinions and different tastes but yeah they evidently uh, what they did was they uh, just you know dug up some grass whatever and plant some trees and made that side useless And uh, I'm not going to take a look in the dumpster, or maybe I might. Well, you can see what's in here. You let, you let me know what you saw, okay? But now here's the interesting thing is we leave the uh, former Exxon next door is the Quaker store my mother says that back in the 70s when she worked at the nearby Mid-Atlantic Bank she used to uh, shop at the store you know get lunch you know on the weekdays whatnot this actually was supposed to get torn down and Exxon was going to expand into this area right here. But people of the town wanted this preserved. This is probably one of the oldest, probably the oldest structure in Stratford. And uh, so Exxon relented and uh, right about here, there used to be a sign they said thank you Exxon for preserving this. They actually, I believe they actually paid for uh, the restoration of this building. See it's got power. Right? And you also see here. I don't know what happened here, whether maybe a car jumped the curb or, uh, or what happened, but this looks pretty bad. See the uh, extra sign through there, and then there's a little, uh, some good little house. I guess kind of a model of this uh, particular store, which is pretty neat looking. You know, it's kind of falling apart, but you know, kind of neat looking. Now. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to be up there, but that's kind of interesting. <sighs> Apparently the front porch over here has power. I mean, the whole building does mean, obviously, um, someone probably, you know, takes care of this building. So you can see we go up the stairs you see here it's got a hand truck I don't know if that's uh, for maintenance or for uh, what would have been deliveries to the store when this was a store I guess that was a bench that uh, might have been moved from this location here looks like looks very much like a church pew I almost expect to find a, a you know a rack in the back here for the hymn books and Bibles, but now it looks like some kind of bench was here for whatever reason, along with this bench here. And you see the sign for see a sign there for Highway Cold Cuts, which incidentally was located at the Laurel Mill Shopping Center that. Uh, I uh, did a video on. And this is 
is uh, run by the Stratford uh, Historical Preservation Commission. Gotta be real careful there. I stepped on there. The concrete I figured that'd be a good spot. Is any? Well, I take it this has been uh, turned into some sort of museum by the uh, by the borough. Yeah, here in New Jersey we have. Our communities are townships or boroughs, and smaller towns by land area are usually called uh, boroughs, and uh, um, larger towns like West Berlin or Voorhees or whatever, those are townships. Mm -hmm. This is interesting, you know, what we uh, could see today. And now back to the car. Well, you never know what I'm going to find next. Again, I didn't expect to uh, do a video uh, today. I figured I'd uh, spend this weekend working on some stuff I have in the backlogs. But you know what? You never know what you're going to find. So you got to jump on it. And if you like what you see on this channel, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Um... Uh, Say you're going to not film anything and then film something anyway. <laughs> I know I do. Well, that's it for now. See you next time and have a great day. I can't believe I got in this place.